Hi, my name is Jay Davey. I work for Zymogen. I'm part of the automation group. We have lots of micro tighter plates we move around between lots of different expensive equipment and life science instruments. For that we need nice, accurate, fast, reliable robots. I'm here in Zymogen's production facility where here our Mecha 500s are sitting on our future production line. We've done extensive testing to make sure that these robots are up to the task and we're very happy with what we've seen so far. Before we had Mechademic's Mecha 500 robots, we had very large robots that serviced a lot of individual life science instruments. What we found was that as soon as that robot picked up a plate, it could only carry one plate at a time and it could only move so, so quickly between all of the different instruments. We also have the issues of our, a lot of our biological processes change a lot. Our teams change, our building change, the space constraints change. And as a result, our automation equipment needs to fit in different size spaces. And if we have one big robot that's surrounded by a bunch of instruments, that space that it takes up is very inflexible and it takes up a, a very large volume. So what we've done is we've designed a new system that is more reconfigurable, more modular. And with that, it pushed us towards smaller robots uh, that can effectively distribute the, the throughput pay, uh, workload that needs to go on in our system and we arrived at Mechademic's Mecha 500 uh, because it was a good price, it was very accurate, it really fit the bill for what we're looking for. We looked at a few other solutions. We decided to try building robots ourselves. We also tried to get contractors to build some robots for us using very large catalog of parts. We stopped both of those uh, projects. We just because the Mecha 500 uh, was doing so well and it was coming in at a very competitive price for the amount of extra reliability we got for something that was more proven. We really like this robot because of its compact size. So here we have two Mecha 500 robots that are picking up uh, well plates that feed thermal cycling instruments. We've got in the system one robot per instrument, uh, which allows us to get, in theory, higher throughputs. The modifications we've made so far have been mainly around the fingers. We've added a linear rail and guide onto the gripper to ensure that the fingers don't break when you extend the fingers over a great distance. We had a very good experience integrating the Mecha 500 robot. We uh, effectively wrote software to control it in coordination with our other life science instruments within a, a month or two. By comparison, a lot of the custom robotics and robots we built ourselves, they took many, many more months, the order of six to nine months to arrive at something that was not nearly as good quality as what we had with the Mecha 500. One of the things that we really like about the Mecha 500 robots is how easy it is to mount in different orientations. So being able to mount the robot in different orientations is crucial to being able to use this in so many different places. Working with this system has really uh, opened me up to think a lot more about both the planning and the data produced rather than making sure the nitty gritty and details of staging equipment, moving between different pieces of equipment, of scheduling time on equipment is removed from the equation. And I think there's a reason we have so many academic arms on these systems because as, a, as an end user, I'm looking for uh, reliability of transfer, consistency of the pick in place. The more I have to not think about the arm, I think the better it's working from my perspective. Next steps for us at Zymogen with the Mecha 500 is to build more racks with mechas in, inside them and add things like a linear slide to them to take more advantage of vertical space uh, and continue our, our relationship with Mechademic.